Hi Scorpio, it's Be Divine and welcome to your full moon reading. I am using just a plain uh, deck of tarot cards today and we're going to see what you've been letting go of and also what's coming up in the near future. Right? Again, this is just a really quick reading, but I really hope that it helps you. Don't forget your moon and rising sign as well. So here we go. I'm going to find the moon card in the deck. This is the way that I've set this up today. All right, so I'm going to find the moon card in the deck and then we'll go from there. And if you want something more in depth, please check out all of my services and healing services as well. Uh, BeDivineOnline.com Okay, uh, okay, I can see... Uh, the moon. All right, let's look what's behind. Okay, and we'll take a couple of cards in front of that. All right, awesome. So, wow, Scorpio, this is what you've been leaving behind. And this is the nine of swords. Okay, you need to leave this behind if you haven't left this behind. And this is everybody's stress. It's accumulation of the whole world and everything everyone's going through and all the worry that you've got on, on your shoulders and, um, you know, sending out healing and trying to help people and, you know, doing readings or whatever it is that you're doing, counseling or therapies or whatever, you know, you've been taking on the worldwide events on your shoulders and feeling like you're the one that needs to fix it. And this has to stop. This feeling of uh, it's got to be me if it's going to happen and putting yourself uh, last and, you know, but putting yourself first also in the line of fire all of the time and then wondering why you feel so drained out. It has to stop. Anxieties are here. All right. And this is what you've been having. And uh, you've got to put yourself first in order for all of that to start to fade away. It's when we forget about ourselves, and I've said it all day today. It's when we forget about ourselves that we encumber so many problems. And then we start getting frustrated about that. It's like we're just in this never ending cycle of nothing working. Okay. Other people come second and you need to come first. And what this does is again, it brings you into this place of peace. And you know, yes, you will feel like you're alone. Yes, you're going to because our spiritual journey is our own anyway. But you're only letting go of people that were dragging you down, weighing you down, right? Upsetting you, um, causing you to feel like you have to second guess yourself all the time. That's no good for you. Okay, Scorpio has a hard time with this because you guys like to help everybody and fix everything. Um, even if it means that you're, ex you're exhausted at the end of it, that can't continue for you to move and ascend. All right, so think of you first, Scorpio. And uh, I will see you in the next readings. Bye.